Hey everybody, welcome back to 52 Weeks of Prepping. Uh, this is class number three, the walkthrough of the Prepper Pantry. Uh, I'm not uh, an apocalyptic guy and I don't really believe in worldwide economic collapse, so my pantry is not nearly as extensive as some other people's. So uh, this will be really simple, but uh, maybe give you some ideas and let you see the kind of stuff that uh, I've got stored away. So thanks, and uh, if you're enjoying this, make sure you uh, hit the like and the subscribe button and follow along for more. Thanks. Welcome to the Prepper Pantry. So we're going to start from the bottom and work our way up. Down here on the floor are two seven-gallon aquatainers, and I will do a deep dive on these later, but uh, they're, they're pretty bulletproof. So I have more of them, but this is a good place to stick them. So here's my canned food, uh, canned tuna and chicken and stew and vegetable beef and lentil. Uh, this is all the stuff that the wife likes. And then over here, I've got some canned milk that I used for baking. I've got some corn and some green beans and lots of chili and then in the back corner is rice that I have repacked in these orange juice containers to keep the bugs out and next level up is our comfort food of Velveeta and powdered mashed potatoes which I love and I also cook with this is sort of the breakfast area we really like canned beef hash chicken noodle soup Peanut butter, beans, these are packaged refried beans, which are good energy and very inexpensive. We've got some oils and some spices. This is my backup Gatorade. Again, if we're on pure water, we can get some sugars and some salts and some electrolytes. There's Stephanie's comfort food. Also, where work are we left? I really like Boost. Um, it's a good sort of quickie protein, and it's obviously shelf stable, and it tastes good because it's chocolate, and I love chocolate. So back up breakfast. These are Stephanie's vanillas, and some Gatorade for her, as well as as our disposable uh, plates and bowls and utensils and stuff like that. So this is all obviously disposable stuff. Up towards the stop, top, we get into some baking supplies. We got some powdered milk, uh, some stuffing, salt, flour, here's my sugar. And my flour and the ever-present ramen because you have to have ramen and I also have some sterno and a folding camp stove that fits the sterno just because it's a better place to put it here than the garage but I'll show you my propane camp stove uh, later so there's the quick overview of the very basic prepper pantry for two Pretty boring, but this should easily get us two weeks, and then we should stretch that, probably double that if we had to. Another important component of food, obviously, is cooking. Uh, I will do a deeper dive on this soon, but this is one of my butane camp stoves. It takes these little canisters, look like hairspray. Just drop in right there and these are very 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 cheap like under 30 bucks and I've talked about this many times but a chest freezer chest freezers are a great way to store food with very little electricity required so if you're a hunter or you like a lot of meat great investment they're back in stock now this is a five cubic foot they're about a hundred under two hundred dollars so great investment 
Hey, welcome back. So a couple of quick follow-ups. Um, in my opinion, the important things to remember about food and food storage is store what you eat, eat what you store. An emergency situation is not the time to discover that you've stockpiled a bunch of stuff that you don't like to eat. Um, I am not a believer in pre-packaged survival emergency food like for Patriots and Wise and things like that. I think that they do have their place, but that place is incredibly limited. And if you look at what you what you are getting for the money, you can take that dollar and just go to your grocery store and just load up on stuff that you already eat for significantly less. Um, so when you go grocery shopping, we go grocery shopping every week, you know, I just get one extra can, two extra cans, and just week after week after week, that builds, you know, you don't have to go out and spend a thousand dollars all at one shot. You can do it in little pieces. So store what you eat, eat what you store. Number two, don't forget about comfort food, comfort food, chocolate, caffeine, coffee, those tasty things that just make your life feel better was really, really important. And we need to re-up on chocolate right now, actually. Uh, three, water. Got to have water. Water is arguably more important than food. So have water storage. It's quite important. Uh, water filtration we'll talk about later. Water storage, super easy. We're going to do a deep dive on water in a later video. And lastly, have multiple ways to cook. Gas stove, cooking stove, barbecue grill, sterno, whatever. Test it but have multiple ways of cooking. Sterno is a big one. Sterno is not all it's cracked up to be. But that butane stove that I showed you, super cheap. Again, we're gonna deep dive on that later. So store what you eat, eat what you store, comfort food, water, multiple ways of cooking. So uh, here are some quick thoughts and I uh, hope that you enjoyed uh, this lesson three of 52 weeks of prepping. I'll see you next week.